if you're wondering where Nikki and the kids are, they're in the boat. Nikki's just sorting the washing out and uh, making sure they're doing the homeschooling okay. So it won't be long, they'll be done today. Uh, yeah, we've got a boat in front of us, and as you can see, I've got one right up my chuff. Uh, but we've got four locks, so uh, we're just taking our time. No point in rushing because we're going to be in a queue when we get to the next lock. Well, we're at the lock, and as you can see, there's a queue. One boat's just come out, another one just gone in. So I'm going to try and pull behind this boat here. So now it's just a waiting game. So here we go under the very, very busy road bridge and into Shut Hill Lock. Uh, another boat's just turned up to come down, so Nikki should, should <laughs> have plenty of help uh, on this lock. I think it's going to be very busy uh, at Penkridge this morning. Uh, there appears to be boats everywhere, so uh, it'll be what it'll be, I suppose. And as suspected, Nikki has got help. All good. Nikki's walking ahead. You may be able to see her just in the distance there with Primrose. Walking ahead to the next lock. It's a beautiful day. You may be able to see a boat that's just gone past us. Uh, just to show how low the waters are, I went over to the right hand side as you do and I was riding the silt and the rocks the boat was going up and down over them so yeah the waters are still pretty shallow uh, we have had a lot of rain and there's lots more to come by all accounts so it's needed and it's getting better And by the way, you can follow us on Facebook. Just look out for Chug a Bug on Facebook. And well, you can virtually see where we are, what we're up to. We do sort of post up to date pictures there. Uh, so if you want to have a look at what we're up to, please do uh, send a member request uh, to Chug a Bug and uh, we'll have a look. And uh, hopefully, you can join the, the crew. Uh, we do ask, though, that you do have an active uh, Facebook account. Uh, it's just to help make life a little bit happier and a little bit more secure because there are a few crazies out there. Beautiful little boat that was. Before you know it, the next lock is on us. This is Park Gate Lock. It's all going nice. Right, Nikki's up there, so let's go and have a look. What's going on? Well, that's the lock. Mind me head. That's the lock sorted. Let's get chugs in. Primrose, where's Primrose? Where is she? There she is. I can just see Nikki there giving Primrose a love, and I'm just having a nice little cuddle here with Dale. Uh, Dixie, in case you're wondering, is with the kiddies inside at the moment. It is looking like it's going to rain. It's not looking good, and it's a little bit cooler, so Dixie's safer in the boat. But uh, this building here behind me until recently used to be a Midland Chandler's here at Parkgate Lock. It's now been taken over by a company called Parkgate Leisure and apparently it's very good.
that's two down two to go the lady from the boat behind us has uh, has said she'll do the lock close the gates and set the lock for them so that's good we're on our way we're just about to go under the very very busy m6 my old office I've travelled every mile on that motorway from the Scottish borders to down to Rugby to where it meets the M1. Always very, very, very busy and there always seems to be a lot of uh, roadworks. When I was uh, driving they were modernising it to one of these smart motorways where it governs itself with speed limits and LED signs everywhere. It's not a place I want to be anymore. I'm happy where I am. The next lock, Longford Lock, just ahead of us. Well, I know there was a boat in front of us. There's obviously no boat coming down. As you can see, Nicky is draining Longford Lock. We noticed on the way down, this lock had had a considerable amount of work done on it and money spent on it. New lock gates and new brickwork. Very noisy. <laughs> Yes, as you can see, nice new gates and lovely new brickwork just over there by Nicky and along the sides. So a good job done and money well spent. I've just come down them steps. You've got to watch your head on the bridge, you know. Uh, anyway, ready to go. Let's get chugs. One more lock to go after this uh, after this lock and that's Painbridge lock and hopefully that'll take us to our moorings. We have noticed some pretty black sky up there so hoping to get moored up before that decides to open up. Hi Mimi. And unfortunately right by the lock there Nikki no noticed loads of edible mushrooms. Unfortunately though, they're right where doggies would have had wee-wees, uh, so obviously we're not going to pick those. Uh, we both do love mushrooms, but we don't like the rain and it's just started to drizzle. And the wind's getting up and the weather is definitely drawing in. Sorry about the wind noise, if you can hear it. Uh, the weather is definitely drawing in and the wind's getting up. There are plenty of moorings here before the lock. Uh, we just don't fancy it. We want to get through the lock and hopefully uh, get moored up up there. If there isn't any moorings, uh, there are some further on. And if we can get on there, <laughs> we'll just carry on until we can. It's as simple as that, really. And Penkridge lock just coming into view. It's a lovely looking lock this, uh, from every direction. It's got a separate tunnel where the horses used to be guided through. 
looks really really nice uh, I would imagine in the day the old working boats didn't really like it much they'd have to one tether the horses and then tether them again when they came through the bridge but we don't care because we've got a beat marine under here <laughs> there's a nice pub the boat I have uh, been in there a couple of times it's very nice and here is the lock you can see there's a little metal footbridge which is an add-on and this is the old horse tunnel boats used to obviously come out of there or go in there and the horses were guided through here very nice well just come under the bridge and there's a, a chap on a boat he's on his way down so the gates are about to be opened and then I can get chugs in but I love things like this a uh, little bit of an oddity but I, I always think about what would it have been like for the old working boats they'd have had to drag the boats through untether the horses as I say take the horses through I don't imagine they'd have liked it I love it though Thank you. I'm the Ed let's go and get chugs that was a lovely happy couple on that boat that's the way to be you know they were laughing about the impending rain that's coming down uh, and they're going fishing they're going to go and do a bit of fishing, so uh, we wish them luck. Right, let's get into Penkridge Lock. I did ask the chap if there was any mooring up there at Penkridge. As you go through here, you've got like a bit of a, a basin on the left, past the services. And I know there's a few boats moored up there, but he said two boats have just left the mooring underneath the next bridge. And that's exactly where we want to moor up. So hopefully it should be good. But isn't this lovely? Or is it just me? But I love it. Absolutely love it. You see the rope marks. Can you see the rope marks? Where the boats would have been hand pulled by the old boaters through here at one time. It's just the history is all around you. Beautiful. Well, it looks like there's a boat waiting to come down just there, unless he's just using the services. I just saw a chap going over with a bin bag. So he's probably waiting for the lock and just getting rid of his rubbish when he's here. Because the service area is literally as you come out of the lock. Not really in the best place, if I'm honest. But they're nice and clean and very efficient here. And there's the services, Alson Point water and everything. But as you can see, it's literally as you come out of the lock. But uh, the nice clean facilities, all good. Yep, so that boat's coming down. Uh, so he said he's all right with the gate and everything. So we're on our way. Uh, we're just going to go round that right hand bend in front of us and then under the bridge and hopefully more up. Now, the raindrops are getting bigger. I don't think the camera will pick them up, but it has certainly started to rain. Uh, let's get moored up. You can see the drops of rain forming there on the back of the boat, so uh, yeah, let's get moored up. What do you reckon, babe? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I do too. I think that's good timing. <laughs> Time for lunch. That's brilliant. Just got our mooring where we wanted to. Got a boat just moored up behind us. I'm going to phone Julian Martin just to let them know. But of course, we can't keep the mooring, but there's room for a couple more boats just before finance lock there. Rain is getting heavier. I don't know whether you can pick it up on the water, but the rain is definitely getting heavier. Uh, so we moored up just in time. That's us for the day. We do have something to pick up in town. So we may have to walk up there or I will go myself and save the kiddies and Nikki getting wet. But uh, I'm gonna go in now, have a nice coffee and a little sit down. So a little over three hours cruise this morning. So uh, not too bad. I hope you enjoyed it.